With just about four months to the December 7 polls, the leadership of the People's National Convention is sharply divided over the date to hold a Congress to elect its national executives and a flag bearer. Chairman of the party, Bernard Mona, set 19th September as the date for the Congress after a National Executive Committee meeting. But in a separate development, former flag bearer of the party, Edward Mahama, also announced 26th September as the date for the Congress, backed by what he says is a National Council meeting. The party is currently undecided as to when to elect its flag bearer as the days for the election inch close. Let's get on to Zoom and speak to Chairman of the party, Bernard Mona. Many thanks for your time, Mr. Mona. So is the party confused over when to elect its flag bearer? You mentioned one date. We're hearing a different date from the former flag bearer. <coughs> Um, Araba, good afternoon. Good afternoon to your viewers and your listenership. First, let me state unequivocally that Bernard Mona has no contrary date. I have made this point clear and on many occasions. There was a National Executive Committee meeting on the 18th of August 2020 at the UDS Auditorium because his Excellency Dr. Edward Mahama, the ambassador at large, had requested that we should look for a venue that allows for social distancing and that we should show evidence that we are able to pay the TNT and accommodation for NEC members that will be coming from afar. These arrangements were done. His inability to attend that NEC meeting cannot invalidate the outcome of that NEC. Except you are saying that when next takes a decision, that decision can be personalized to Bernard Mona. Obviously, the PNC has structures. The National Congress of our party is the foremost and highest decision-making body of our party, followed immediately by the National Executive Committee and then followed by the Standing Committee of our party. So therefore, when next takes a decision, it is not right and it is not fair to come and box that decision to say that that is Bernard Mona's decision. Bernard Mona has no decision. This decision of the 19th, this decision of the filing fees, this decision of setting up the Congress Committee are all as a result of the National Executive Committee of our party. All right. Anyone, and I say this, there are people who are going to contest for the various positions in the party. In wanting to become general secretary, in wanting to become national chairman, in wanting to become presidential candidate and what have you, all of us will be subordinate to the decisions of NEC. If any one of them happens to become the executive position that they want to occupy, will they sit down for any one individual to get up and say that NEC has taken a decision next position should be subordinated that will mean that you are not defending the party the way it's supposed to be defended. all right mr and mr so mona hold on I for me no position right mr mona hold on for me because i have uh, george luri uh, bayobo who is chairman of the council of elders he joins us on the phone uh mr bayobo good afternoon to you good afternoon so clarify for us, were you at this meeting where the date for the Congress was agreed upon and what is the actual date? I wasn't at the meeting the day the Congress was agreed upon. Okay. What is your understanding of what the agreement is with regards to when the party is holding its Congress? As the uh, issued by the Council of Elders, the Congress will take place on the 26th of September. I'm sure you just heard uh, your chairman, uh, Bernard Mona. He's there on the screen. He's laughing. Uh, he says it's a uh, 19th, is it? But you say 26th. No, it's not the 19th. It is 26th of September. Araba. Araba. I'm listening. Please. I am of Northern origin and I respect leaders who also want to be respected. 
the Council of Elders is a creation of NEC. On the, eight, uh, on the 3rd of August 2017, NEC took a decision to nominate and to appoint people into the Council of Elders. I communicated the decision of NEC to the NEC members, including Kenel um, uh, Luri Bayobo. The meeting that Kenel Bayobo attended, claiming that that meeting was by um, was the meeting of the Council of Elders. He was the only member of the Council of Elders as I can. I can put the picture of the meeting to you for you to understand that these things have gone beyond individuals. Now, in that meeting, you have, you have um, Hajia Hajarabuya, not a member of the Council of Elders. You have Moses Daniba, not a member of the Council of Elders. You have Isa Adam, he is only secretary to the Council of Elders and not a member of the Council of the Elders. You have Emmanuel Wilson attending that meeting, not a member of the Council of Elders. So it was only Kenel Bayobo. Persons like Reverend Ajay, um, um, Honorable Jambibi, uh, 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 Alaji Umar, Sir Edward Dajare, who are members of the Council of Elders, were not part of the meeting. That is one. Number two, Anywhere in the world and in political organization, when Council of Elders that is supposed to advise the national executive, there is a problem. You want to listen to two sides of the, of the story. This Council of Elders, upon several calls to the chairman of the Council of Elders, declined to even pick my call. You go and issue a statement running down the decision of NEC. So how will the party function if the structures are not working? Council of Elders is not an institution on its own. It is an institution created by NEC. Mm. Why are we doing that when we are elders? Now, when the council issues statements, the council is not even fully clothed with what the constitution of the party says. The last amendment at the National Delegates Congress of our party says that all deputy positions of our party must be contested. If you read the council's letter or statement, they say that the positions of deputies will have to be appointed to ensure regional balance. Which constitution are you talking about? The constitution again says that NEC must meet to appoint a Congress committee. Council of Elders have not appointed uh, elders. Dr. Edward Mahama paid right. 10,000 CDs in the, in the Mr. Mona. elections. Mr. Mona. As filing fees. Okay, I think no, your no, point is well made. No, your Mama point is well made. We need to wrap up people. this conversation, Mr. Mona. So I'd like to ask you, and also that question, the same question to uh, Kenel uh, Bayobo. Um, can you agree on one date uh, to hold this particular uh, Congress? We're just entering we, September. We, we, we are less we, than three months away from the elections. If the Council of Elders will behave like a Council of Elders to want to listen to the National Executive Committee, you cannot just get up and say because you are Council of Elders, you have become an authority. Is that to suggest that you are going ahead with your 19th September Congress? I'm saying that any any other decision will have to be a decision of NEC. If the Council of Elders want to meet with NEC to more or less call a truce, the Council can call NEC and say that we have an advice for NEC. Very well. And NEC will then say that, okay, we have listened to you. Okay. In the National Democratic Congress, for instance, when flag bearer aspirants had a problem with the filing fee, the Council of Elders met with the party leadership. It was after that the party leadership were asked to issue a statement reflecting the decisions that they have arrived at. In the new patriotic party, okay. a similar thing has happened. Very well, How Mr. Mona, let me just ask uh, Kenel Bayobo. Kenel Bayobo, clearly there's some division here. Uh, as a member of the Council, uh, Council of Elders, what are you going to do to ensure that you know the party holds its Congress with just three months to the elections in December on an agreed Thank you date. Very much. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have the time to waste a debating Mona on this issue. But there is just one thing I want to remind him. I was an elder before he joined the party. So <laughs> the mere fact that he was asked to write a letter to me doesn't make sense. I was an elder before he joined the party. When we formed the party, when we founded the party, he was a schoolboy. That is what we have to understand. Kenel Bayobo, uh, let, let's stay on the issue, which is the date for the Congress. There's some division here. Mr. Mona says 19th, you said 26th. So can you agree on, uh, on one date? 
When we realized that there was confusion, there were two separate instructions regarding the Congress. Right. The council came of uh, elders came in to help, and then we decided to come out of a neutral date. That date is 26. So you're going ahead and with the 26th date. That is it. And I asked all members of the PNC to keep that day all right. as the Congress day. We'll have to leave it here. It doesn't appear that there's any agreement now. But uh, you had the chairman of the PNC, uh, Bernard Mona, and a member of the Council of Elders, Kennel Biobot.